Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to cover color correcting, how I color correct, we're going to go into science, we're going to go into learning how the color wheel works and how we can use it for us and how we can make it work for us and use it on our faces to create the perfect blank canvas. So if you guys are interested in learning how to color correct and all that snazz, make sure you keep on watching because I will go through all the details with you guys. I'll show you guys what I use, what to use, what not to use, what to avoid, and like teach you exactly why you do the things you do. And if you guys have like color correcting needs that don't match my needs, I will teach you how to color correct to match your needs by teaching you about the color wheel. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. I hope that made sense and let's begin all right guys so we are going to start with tying up my hair guys this clip is so new i haven't even taken the tag off of it so make sure your face is washed skin prepped all that fun stuff is already done and i'm just gonna go ahead and moisturize my face so i moisturize twice once after i wash my face and then again before i start applying makeup and i'm gonna go in with the embryolis i don't know what the actual name is let cream concentre is how you would pronounce it in french if i'm right i could totally have butchered that just now this is the moisturizer that i use before i apply makeup and then i'm just gonna apply this on my face I'm so tired today, I didn't even want to wake up this morning. But I'm like, hello, content creator, get up. It's time to create. The sun's out, take advantage. All right, so I have applied my moisturizer and the key to really nice looking under eyes is to make sure they're fully hydrated. So I'm gonna go in with an eye cream and I use the hydrating eye cream by Bobbi Brown. Looks like this. And then I just apply this under my under eye. And I usually just take my pinkies or your ring finger and I just blend that into my eye as much as I can. And I also do put some on my eyelid as well because that's where I crease as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know about you guys, but it's like an eyeball massage. It sounds so weird, but... Here. And I'm just gonna let it do its thing, soak into my skin. Make it all nice and plump. Another good thing to use is hyaluronic acid if you guys don't use that in your skincare routine. Once I started using that, my skin changed drastically and I use the one from Inkyless and it's so affordable, it's so cheap and it works so amazing and I make sure I use it twice a day. So that's made a massive difference and I've gone to, I've gone through like four bottles now. They come in like 30 milliliter bottles. I don't know if they have a bigger bottle. They might have one now, but I've already stocked up with like so many of the little bottles. So that's what I use. That helps a lot. I will do like a skincare routine if you guys are interested. I know some of you guys on TikTok have been asking. So I might just do a skincare one because skincare is a key to good makeup. So the color corrector that I always, always, always use, like 90% of the time is the Vasanti Liquid VO2. Guys, I've used it so much the writings come off. But this is what I use for my under eye circles or like hyperpigmentation, the like darker areas on my face. And the key to color correcting is you have to use the color wheel. I'm gonna explain that to you very quickly. So basically, when you're color correcting and you look at the color wheel, you wanna look at the opposite. So when I wear makeup or even right now, so my darker areas like if you really really look at it in really bad lighting and all that it looks more on like the bluey side because i'm a little bit of tan skin tone i feel like if i was a little bit lighter it would go more towards the purpley side so for me i would use the complete opposite color which would be in the oranges but if you have more of like the purpley tones you want something that's not so orange but a little bit more on the yellow tone and then if you're trying to correct like um for example, if you want to correct redness, you would use green. So if you want to color correct like a pimple, like the really red spot, you want to use like a green corrector on like the actual spot and then work your way out towards it as the color changes. So that's what you want to look at when you do look at color correctors. You don't just throw on any color corrector and expect it to work. So I use this one normally, but when I want like heavy duty, like someone else's skin tone color correction, I use a bit of a more orange color. Cause for this one, I could put this on and wear light makeup and I'm good to go. But with the other one and I'm really caking it up, I wear a more intense orange and I use the 
LA Pro Girl Orange are like cake it up and you can't, you know, see and it's really, really heavy and thick. But this one's really, really good for like everyday use. And it's good for like parties and stuff as well. But then you just gotta layer it on because it is a more thinner formula, which is fine because guys, this is so good. So that's a little bit of science for you guys for the color wheel and color correcting and all that stuff. So I am gonna go in and use the Passanti Liquid VO2. If you guys don't have this, make sure you get your hands on this because this is like, this is so good. This is like so versatile. You can even put this on just like walk out of your house. Video is not sponsored by the way. I'm gonna apply a generous amount to the areas I want to correct. So it would be here. I heavily believe that the under eye area is also due to like hollowness. So that also creates like a shadow as well. I'm gonna apply. Guys, I'm almost running out. This area is like my biggest one. I hate this area. I don't hate it, it's just annoying. And now what you guys want to do, you don't want to go in right away. You want to let it sit for a bit and dry up a little because since it's a thinner formula, you don't want to just take the product off when you're blending it in. You want to let it be on your face and then blend it out. So I'm going to let that sit for like two minutes and then I'm going to go in with this brush. It's a tiny brush. It's the e.l.f. Cosmetics Angled Contour Brush. And it's really cute and tiny and it's flat. So I just use this to blend it out because when you use a beauty blender, you're literally going to pick up all that product off of your face. So I used to be a beauty blender girl, but now I'm a makeup brush girl and then it's a beauty blender finish flawless kind of look girl. So that's what I do now. I usually use brushes first and then I use a beauty blender to correct the you know any harsh lines or whatever so i'm gonna let this sit for two minutes i hope you guys have been doing well and enjoying the videos um my last video a lot of you guys came from my head top and you're like it's too pink you have a filter on it i do not have a filter on my youtube videos because that absolutely makes no sense for me i'm all about good quality content it's just the camera that i'm using i think when my hair is red so it picks up on the red tone so it makes it a little bit pink but just because it's pink doesn't mean it's a filter this is still my skin guys i don't have any filter on or any Anything. as soon as I put on makeup my skin becomes flawless because you know the makeup and the stuff that I do that's the whole point of doing makeup right but I'm not using a filter it's just the color correction obviously I don't have point on I'm working on it so thanks for letting it be known but for those of you that keep saying it's a filter it's not a filter it's, it's a good quality camera good quality skin and makeup job okay guys so there's no filter on YouTube okay it's no such thing but anyways so I think that's dry now so I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna start on the edges and then work my way in because I wanna blend the product into my skin. I don't wanna take it off because I'm, I'm covering, you know, I'm using this as coverage. I don't know if you guys can tell already, it's beginning to become a piece of my skin. All right guys, so I've done half my face. This is what it looks like once it's blended out and this side still needs blending out. You can already see a massive difference. It's freaking incredible, guys. So this is blended and this is not blended. I know a lot of people don't have time on their hands to just sit there and blend, but the more time and patience you take with your makeup, the better it will look. Honestly, hands down, you guys can't rush it. You have to let things blend. You have to let things set and soak in. It's very important, especially when you're layering your makeup. Because imagine I just put this on and I all of a sudden I put foundation on and I just start wiping it and blending it and everything's gonna get mumbo jumbo and then I don't even know if that's a word. <laughs> if everything's gonna get mumbo jumbled and it won't do its job. And that's probably why your color correction isn't really working. So there, I blended it all out. I love setting spray because as you all already know that. So I'm quickly gonna go ahead and apply some setting spray. I love this stuff. I need a restock, so 
while that sets, let me talk to you about concealer. So now you guys want to get a concealer that is really close to your skin tone because now what we want to do is we the areas that we corrected we want it to look like our skin so that's going to be the starting canvas before we apply foundation highlight contour and all that stuff so i recently became obsessed with the milk makeup concealer the consistency is very nice it's very skin like and also it's just comes in a really cute tube and it matches maybe it's just the shade that's so exact for me but it matches my skin tone so perfectly so i'm going to use this one but another another favorite that i do use is the nars radiant concealer this one's a little bit on the lighter end so i'm gonna not use this one i'm gonna use this one so i can demonstrate it for you and get a concealer that matches your skin tone so all the areas that you didn't correct you want the concealer to match that so as soon as you're done concealing your skin should just look like one color you know what I mean? It may not be the right color that matches your neck and your body, but it will be the right color for your canvas that you're using. I don't know what it is about me, but my face and neck is darker than the rest of my body. So the foundation that I use has to be lighter so it can match my body. Normally for other people, it's the other way around. I just, I just think I've been tanned for like such a long time that it's not going away because I always, always used to play sports outside. So I always have to use a lighter foundation shade to match the rest of my body. Cause when I wear something with like a bigger neck, then this would be dark and tan. And then this would be like hella white. And that makes no sense. So I remember back in the day when it used to be such a big deal for your foundation to only match your face and neck, but no one considered the body. And then people would have like, oh my God, your foundation shade is off. I'm just like, do you guys know how makeup even works? So. Anyways, enough of that. Maybe I'll get into that rant another day. But now that my corrector has set, I'm gonna take my concealer. And what you wanna do is again, you don't wanna, you wanna, you don't wanna mix all your layers. So what you wanna do is you wanna like tap this on. So just tap this onto the areas that you color corrected. And now obviously let it set for like a minute, not too long. It blends in with my skin so well that I can't barely see it. So again, you wanna take a brush. I don't take my color correcting brush because I leave that specifically for the color correcting. So I use this cutie over here. This is the Morphe M173. It's like a little tiny version of a foundation brush, but I use this to blend out my concealer. And ever since I started using a brush instead of a beauty blender, guys game changing i'm telling you so grab yourself a brush this one is great and you're gonna again blend it out but you want to start on the edges and then work your way in you guys don't need to be so rough either you can just gently do it there can you guys see that can you see that's mad bright i don't know why my camera's so bright I take a little bit of extra product that's already on my brush and I have some like, I have some pigmentation here. So I just apply this over it. I used to get electrolysis done and have so much scarring on my face. I just consider it as natural contour, but it's a little annoying sometimes. So I just use whatever le is left on my brush and I just like go over it and it makes such a difference. But let me just continue on the eyes. Okay, so now you wanna take your beauty blender, make sure you've already rolled it out in a paper towel to get out excess water. And now you take your spray, spray it. And now you're gonna slowly pat that into your skin. This way, you're getting rid of any harsh lines that you might have missed. And it just leaves a really flawless finish. And whatever's left on my beauty blender, I just go over my eyelid. Whatever product was left on my beauty blender, I apply it to my eyelid and you can already see the difference that it made. My eyelids, obviously, if I'm gonna correct under my eye, my eyelid is obviously gonna be a little bit darker. I don't know if I need color correcting there. So instead of wasting product, I just go in with this and bam. Usually when I do like heavy eyeshadow, I 
prime it anyways with like a really heavy base so i don't really need correcting there but yeah and there you go guys that's literally how you color correct your face or at least that's how i do it and it's literally foolproof it's so simple and what i would do next is i'll let this sit i would apply my foundation and then i would apply my lighter concealer in the highlight area and my contour my blush my bronzer so on and so forth do the rest of my face obviously doing it a little bit at a time so you're not jumble and squishing them and mashing up every little layer on your face so i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup and i'll be back to show you guys what it all looks like so as you can see now everything is literally one base it's flat it's all corrected there's no darkness hyperpigmentation and whatever little bit there is is gonna get covered with foundation concealer and stuff and yeah so i'm just gonna do my makeup quickly and i'll be right back all right guys i'm back full face is done eyelashes on a lippy on hair done ready for the day i have nowhere to go but that's fine but see there you go full face done all i applied i'll list the products down below your basic foundation concealer contour powder that's about it nothing too crazy i didn't bake i didn't do any of that just like some pressed powder and that's it hopefully you can tell that you can't see the pigmentation through uh it looks clean it looks clear i think it looks pretty good but that's exactly how i color correct if you guys liked it make sure you leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more videos and other than that, thank you guys for watching. Remember to always stay gold and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye!